I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just neatness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, what stands up the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. Need I say more? Justin Unreal. Gaethje back for more time. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the ball. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Gaethje is two years his senior. He is one inch taller. The reach is identical. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. To be reckoned with tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, single collar guy here. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses with that big right hand. Gaethje's kick is blocked. Both guys drawing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Slips the punch nicely there. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch there by Choi. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Rocks that kick to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Got the single collar tie. Just over two minutes, round one. What a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in Oh, huge right hand! Use her. Oh! advance there by Gagey, just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gagey. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, that's Oh! Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high and getting the desired result. some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Some cat's mouse. You got to play cat's mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, big knee. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, what a punch. All right, see the time now. Gaethje's lower jaw does not... Ooh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. There. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie kick. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land Whoa. a big one to the head. Use 
in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. You got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.